glad that you decided to tune back in with us this week. We have a very wonderful lineup for you on today. I have uh, some awesome people that are in the audience. Y'all make some noise. <laughs> some awesome people in the audience. I got um, an awesome young lady here that we're going to interview. You're going to find out um, in just a little bit who she is, what she's doing, what she have coming up. Um, and you're going to hear a little bit about her story. And so I'm excited. Last week when you tuned in, we had some very, very exciting guests. We had the Joyful Les that was here. They was off the chain, off the map, off the hook. Oh my God. Oh. I mean, it was on and popping in here. They had a praise service after it was over. Uh, it was just awesome. We interviewed Lady Annette Marlin by way of Jackson, Mississippi here in, in St. Louis. Uh, she'll be transferring back. And so we're just excited. Uh, right now, you have time to Facebook somebody, tweet, Twitter somebody, whatever you want to call it. Get on the phone. Call a friend, one of your sisters, one of your brothers. Tell them to tune in to us. Don't go far from the TV. We're going to be right back at you. Ha! because we have some exciting things to talk to you about. You still have time to Facebook somebody, tweet somebody, call somebody, tell them to tune in, Charter 984. We are live on the scene. Um, tonight, we're going to talk about um, how to overcome toxic relationships. Uh, what, it, what does it feel like to be in a toxic relationship? What do I mean when I say toxic relationship? I'm talking about their relationships, those relationships that you uh, get connected with that just sucks the life out of you. Somebody that's watching me right now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's those people that are leeching the life out of you. They're aborting your dreams. They're speaking negativity to everything that you think or decide that you want to do, they have something negative to say about it. Um, it it's those people that last week I told you they're called um, spiritual abortionists. What do I mean? Dream killers. They come in the form of male and female. We call them Delilahs. And, um, and they just come to just abort the things that God has called you to do. Relationships. Relationships are those things that we get involved in. Some of you may be in one now. You know you shouldn't be in it, but you are anyway. Um, but some relationships are good, some are bad. And if you're in a relationship right now that you know are bad, I pray right now that you will find the strength to walk away um, from that particular relationship. I want to read to you something real quick. Um, and it talks about pain because we're going to talk about the effect of pain, the effect that pain can actually have on you, um, both uh, mentally, uh, physically. Some people experience physical pain. I experienced some physical pain in my life. I was in an abusive relationship. I incurred black eyes. I was uh, stumped stumped on, stepped on, or whatever, on the ground, my head to the ground, had a bruise uh, to the side of the head um, that was actually uh, very painful for several, several years. And so you don't ever want to be in a relationship and think that violence is love, abuse is love, because it is not. If someone is abusing you, there are many, many organizations that you can tune into, that you can call and get some help, get the help that you need. There are many sister clubs, brother clubs, um, there are many churches, counseling organizations that have help available for you so that you do not have to be in this alone. You do not have to be in this alone. Um, we actually have individuals that I'm connected with that offer different counseling sessions. Uh, they will pray with you. They will uh, counsel you and try to get you the help that you need. There are different churches that are around that there are some really good pastors and leaders that are really looking to help people and not hurt people. Um, if you're someone uh, that are dealing with abuse or violence, um, extensive pain, you can contact us um, on our website at www.trappingthesystem1. 
www.webs.com. That's www.trappedinthesystem, the number one, dot webs, that's W-E-B-S, Dot com. I just want to take a moment and I want to read something to you. Um, and it talks about pain. And I'm reading this as an insert off of um, the young lady that I'm going to be interviewing on tonight. I'm not going to tell you her name yet because I want to make sure that you call somebody so that they don't miss this. But um, it says pain. It says no one enjoys it. We all try to avoid it. Yet it's something that touches all of us. I'm sure you right now can agree that somehow, somewhere, you have been touched by the feelings of pain. It says, the difference between suffering a lifetime of frustration and defeat versus overcoming to live in peace and freedom is a direct result of how we react to pain and whether we are willing, willing to face it head on. You have to be willing to face it your giants head on. You have to be willing to confront your situations. You cannot run from the situations. You cannot act like the situations do not exist that are bringing harm to you or that are causing you to be in stagnation or complacency. But you must realize that freedom is available to you. And it says, I'm just going to reread this. It says, the difference between suffering a lifetime of frustration and defeat versus overcoming to live in peace and freedom you have the opportunity to live in freedom. You are an overcomer, and you've been created to overcome. I want you to say that with me right now. I have been created to overcome. I have been created to overcome. She says that there is hope. I need you to know right now that hope is available to you. Whatever you do, never lose hope. I don't care how bad the situation get, how ugly it seems, hope is always available to you. It says, just like the painful effects of recovering from surgery, something, something most people dread, we accept the temporary discomfort as a necessary means to an end. And somebody is saying, you know what, I've been like this all of my life. This runs in my family, and I don't feel that I can get out of this. Matter of fact, somebody has told you that you're going to die like that. And I come to tell you that is not the end of your story. It's just another chapter in the book. And your ladder shall be greater than the past. Uh, and goes on to say that um, we accept the temporary discomfort as a necessary means to an end. Knowing the process will correct what's wrong so that we can heal. We're going to be talking about her topic for her book. And that book is called Pain That Heals. It encourages you to examine yourself. Explaining the why behind recurring behaviors and the how. Certain attitudes can impact each area of your life. Then it says, by observing an ongoing set of scenarios, like an audience member, and matter of fact, I want to pause, because you can be a studio audience guest by visiting us at www.trappingthesystem1.webs.com if you or anyone that you know want to be a guest on the show or part of the studio audience. But it goes on and it says that you can peek into the life of a woman who seemingly has it all together yet can't understand what causes her to unravel. Whew, that's hot. These many scripts provide an opportunity for self-reflection while walking you through each step to your own recovery from pain. Just touch yourself and say, I can recover from pain. I can recover from pain. Indeed, it says, enduring painful situations is unpleasant, yet acknowledging the source of your pain and turning it over to the master physician is the first step on the road to recovery from the back of the book, Pain That Heals. I don't want you to move far from that TV. We're going to take a short break. We're going to be right back at you. Did you know that one in five girls reports having a friend who has been hurt by their boyfriend? Hurt as in punched, hit or emotionally controlled. Being in a healthy relationship is about respect, not abuse. If he loves you, he won't harm you with his words or his hands. You're not alone. If you or someone you know is in trouble, call the National Teen Dating Abuse Helpline or log on to www.loveisrespect.org. 
for live chat with a peer or a trained advocate. No names, no judging, only help. Anytime you need Further ado, I want to bring to the set, I want to introduce to you none other than author Carlos Cole! Moments to live. Welcome yeah. to Power Moments to Live. I am so so excited that you have joined us. I'm so excited to have uh, the audience to be embraced with your presence yeah. and with the gift that God has given you. Um, Call is cold. Author Call is cold. Um, the book Pain That Heals. Before I move forward to that. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about who are you, what do you do, um, are you married, are you single, do you have kids, what's going on with you? Oh yes, uh, first of all, uh, I am a wife. Woohoo! <laughs> a wife? <laughs> Not a, but a wife, that's good, that's good, I ain't gonna even say it. The C word, I ain't gonna say it, I ain't gonna say it, I ain't gonna say it, I ain't gonna say it. A wife. I am the wife of Elijah Cole. He's okay. uh, the assistant pastor of uh, Peace Tabernacle Church. Okay, okay. And uh, I'm, I'm very honored to yes. be his wife. And then yes. I'm a mother. Okay. Uh, I have two awesome children. Yes. Um, Angel Cole, and she's 12 years old, and okay. Andrew Cole, he's six years old. All right, and, all yeah. right. <laughs> and um, I enjoy teaching, and I, I love writing. Okay. Yeah. You love writing. So besides, we know that you have a book that's out. Uh, New York best time, New York best time seller, or New York seller best time, whatever <laughs> yes. they say. But you have a book that's out. What other kind of writing do you like to do? Okay, I also enjoy writing plays, playwriting. Playwriting. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about that. Okay. What have you done with playwright, or what is it that you like to do with playwriting? Uh, well, um, in the past, I done plays at churches uh, mm -hmm. uh, here in the St. Louis area okay. and just recently in 2009 um, mm -hmm. I hooked up with a friend and we did a play at Harris Stokes. They came what? Out. Harris Stokes? Yeah. Woo okay. yeah, it was okay. awesome, awesome. We did a little traveling but okay. I weren't able to really branch off into it so we we'll want to talk to more to you about yeah. playwriting. Yeah. So you, okay, so you did some playwriting through church, mm -hmm. and then you guys did one at Harris Stowe. The one at Harris Stowe, what was that about? What was the title of that? Okay, um, the title of that was uh, For the Love of God, and okay. um, it was um, produced by Watch God Works Productions, okay. and it was about the book of Hosea. Oh, mm -hmm. it was wow. really good. And Hosea, we know that in the Word of God, Hosea represents the Book of Hosea represents Christ's love for the church. Mm -hmm. And so it was about um, how you know Gomer, like in the Book of Hosea, mm -hmm. you know, chose to live a, a promiscuous lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And Hosea, concubine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can say the C word. Yeah. Oh, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. And um, Hosea just loved her. And yes. Just, you know, it just and his love for her brought mm -hmm. her back into relationship with him, and that's just a, a mm -hmm. just a generalization of the book of Hosea. But it's awesome because that's God's love for us mm -hmm. that He loves us in spite of what we do, and uh, His love for us just brings us back mm -hmm. to to who He created us to be. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's, it it was awesome. It was awesome. Wow. The cast was awesome, and it was wow. fun. Wow. Um, and you know, it ran its course as long as the Lord wanted it to. And then, okay. Uh, pain that heals is where God uh, shifted me to. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We just got to. Wow. So, okay, you said a, you, you said a whole bunch of stuff. They said a mouthful. You said a, a, a Jesus, a couple different things that I kind of want to touch on. Um, one is you talked about dealing with the book of Hosea. And how um, his love uh, drew her in. His love brought her back to a place of wholeness yes. and self-identity, yes. and realizing that she really did have some worth. Yes, 
that's some powerful stuff. Yes. Because most times what happens is that when you get male, a free female, and particularly women, and you are promiscuous, you know, whatever the case is, they kind of throw you away. Yeah. And then the men, you know, they, especially if you say, okay, I love God or something, they're like, I'm not dealing with you, you know, yeah. you're secondhand or whatever, but there is really um, a relationship, a type of love that you can show to people to bring yeah. them back to a place of wholeness and healing. Yeah, there really is, because I believe Gomorrah was full of pain, you know, that's what is about you know mm -hmm. so many people are hurting and they're full of pain mm -hmm. and they need the love of Christ yes. to really uh, heal them mm -hmm. and and we are in a body of Christ and mm -hmm. instead of uh, judging their pain we need to um, allow ourselves to be uh, mm -hmm. frequencies you know mm -hmm. we need to you know d demonstrate that love towards them yeah and many a times yeah, it's, it's like thank you. thank you thank you so much yes. for sharing um, caring enough to even write the book. Listen, Pain That Heals um, is the book by uh, Arthur Carlos Cole. Uh, we want you to get a copy of the book. Um, give them your phone number one more time. Okay, uh, well I won't give you that, but I will let you know okay. the book is at Transformation Christian Bookstore okay. uh, in St. Louis, Missouri. It's at Family Christian Bookstore yes. off of West Florence in, in St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Uh, or you can write me and order a book at P.O. Box 470-635, St. Louis, Missouri, 63147. Mm -hmm. Or you can Facebook me and inbox me at Carlos Good Success Cole. Yes. And uh, I okay. believe that's, that's everything. Yeah, I Listen. wrote everything down here just to be sure. So okay. Also, you can order the book on www.bornsandnoble.com or www.amazon.com or www.booksamillion.com. All right. Well, we're signing off. We have to go. Until next time, how about the family of design to shift your thinking, catapult you into your now place. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.